In this series, we'll be exploring Git extensions. Git extension is a standalone UI tool for managing Git repositories. In order to download Git extensions, you need to click on this link called download and uh, you can visit this website gitextensions.github.io. Clicking on download will take you to this screen where you can see the latest release and scrolling down, you'll be able to either download the MSI version or the zip file. You also have access to the code as well and uh, I would recommend you to go ahead and click on the MSI Git extensions and once it's downloaded you can go ahead and install it just by clicking on it. Now once installed you can just click on this and it will start the installation process. There you go. You need to click on next and here it says install just for you or install for all users of this machine. I'll go with the last option. Clicking on next, it will ask you where exactly you need to install it and then click on next. These are all the things that will be installed. So just go ahead and do that. Click next. And here you can see the SSH client that will be used by Git extensions. By default, OpenSSH is the Git default. If you feel like putty is the one, you can go ahead and select putty as it has a bit integration with Windows. Click Next. And if you feel like sharing your data, you can go ahead and allow telemetry. Click Next. And then Install. So this will just start the installation process and it will install Git extensions on your machine. And then all you need to do is click on Finish and that will exit the setup wizard. You can come back on this page and you can see what features it offers. For instance, you can view the commit log. So if someone has, you know, pushed their changes, you'll be able to see what changes they have made, the comments that they have made, the files that they've checked in, then the file history as well. So it allows you to explore the history of a single file and obviously blame find the last person that edited a specific part of a file double click on a line shows the commit and allows you to drill down to other files so all these cool features are there which we will be exploring in this series we'll be covering the aspects in such a way that if you are new to get extensions you'll be pretty much comfortable working with git repositories after watching the series